the morning of December 7, 1941. The Japanese Navy launches a devastating surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor. Unknown to U.S. forces, a group of six Japanese aircraft carriers had moved into position near Hawaii, launching their bombers and fighters in two massive attack waves. In less than two hours, the attack was over. More than 2,300 U.S. service members were killed at Pearl Harbor, and substantial damage was inflicted on the fleet and facilities. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in The attack had a galvanizing effect on the American public. Shortly thereafter, Germany declared war on the U.S., and America became fully engaged in World War II. Many awards for heroic action including 15 medals of honor were earned by the service members who fought at Pearl Harbor. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. As Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense, but always will our whole nation Remember the character of the onslaught against us. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. I believe that I interpret the will of the Congress and of the people when I assert that we will not only defend ourselves to the uttermost, but will make it very certain that this form of treachery shall never again endanger us. Hostilities exist. There is no blinking at the fact that our people, our territory, and our interests are in grave danger. With confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph so help us God. <laughs>